Here we are in general tab of MySQL Workbench preferences. Under EER modular section, the very first option is automatically reopen previous model at start. Let's click on this and now click OK. Currently, when we open MySQL Workbench, it brings us in its home page. Now, let's close MySQL Workbench. Let us reopen MySQL Workbench again. When we open MySQL Workbench, this time it will automatically open EER diagram of Secular Database, which was the last MySQL model open in this MySQL Workbench. To turn off this feature, go to Edit, click on Preference, and uncheck the very first option under EER model. Next time, when we open, MySQL model will not reopen itself. Also, model unto history size is currently 10 under EER modeler. We can change that to any other value. Currently, the model undo history size is 10. If we change that to 20, MySQL modeler will have undo history of 20 different steps. Currently, MySQL model are auto save at every 1 minute. We can change that to 20 minute or we can even change that to 10 seconds. If you want to manually save MySQL model, you can disable auto save feature. Personally, I keep this setting as it is because I believe it's good idea to save our MySQL model at every minute. Under SQL editor, we have a feature called save snapshot of open editor on close. When this is checked, the default behavior of this setting is on. What that means is when we reopen MySQL connection, it will automatically open query tab with last query snapshot. This was the query which I had executed when I closed my plural site tab. As that setting was enabled, when I open plural site tab, it has automatically restored my query in the editor. Now, let's go back to preferences. You can also change autosave option of your script as well. Currently, this is marked as disable. If you want your script to be autosaved, you can change it to any other value in general tab of MySQL Workbench preferences. Next, we will see how administrator tab works.